Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. With CMU 1.11.4 releasing for free for the public tomorrow, I thought that today was the best time to take a look at its performance in comparison to the previous CMU version 1.11.3. Okay, let's quickly jump across to the benchmark and take a look at its performance. So straight away upon loading into our Hateno benchmark we can see that 1.11.4 is already performing much much better than 1.11.3. The only graphics packs that I have in effect in this benchmark are a 1440p resolution graphics pack, FPS++ due to its ability to give us a maximum and minimum FPS number allowing us to see which version of CMU is running better and as always I am using the LZWX Crash Workaround graphics pack. So as we can see, CMU 1.11.4 is indeed giving us better performance in comparison to its predecessor CMU 1.11.3. Let's quickly switch across to our Kakariko scene and see if it's a similar story there. Once again in our Kakariko scene we are seeing slightly better performance in CMU 1.11.4 in comparison to 1.11.3. I must also mention that in all of these benchmark runs I am using GX2 Drawdown, the experimental CMU option that fixes issues like NPCs freezing, enemies in the environment freezing and also allows you to correctly use your camera rune to take photos of any objects in the environment. So once again in our Kakariko village scene we can clearly see that CMU 1.11.4 is the victor even if it is only by a very small performance margin. Let's quickly jump across to our next scenario, Zora's Domain. So as you can see on screen, once again 1.11.4 is slightly outperforming 1.11.3. Now while some of you may say that this is due to different times of day, you can clearly see that when Link is in the sun, the direction of his character drawn shadow is exactly the same from scene to scene. The only difference between these two comparison shots is the different type of weather pattern. In my testing, the only weather pattern that can adversely affect performance is when it starts to rain. This weather pattern performance difference can be explained by the fact that when a surface is wet, it has to draw another shader level which has to represent the character reflection on a wet surface. Let's switch across to our second last benchmark scene, Gerudo Village. Now if you have watched many of my CMU to CMU comparisons just like this one, you will notice that Gerudo Village seems to be kind of an outlier for performance from version to version. My theory would be that due to the way that characters are rendered in this game when they are off screen and also due to the layout of this town mostly being comprised of tents and small huts which can hide these characters, this could possibly explain why we see such weird performance variants in our performance benchmarks in Gerudo Town. Due to this difference in performance variance, we kind of have to give a tie between 1.11.4 and 1.11.3 in this scene. Let's switch across to our final scene, Luralin Village. Now I like to use Luralin Village as a benchmark as it gives us a nice mix of both open world and kind of a town situation. It also gives us a nice mixture of both NPCs and complex geometry including buildings, lots of torches and flames being rendered and as you can see when I come around this corner there is a large gathering of NPC characters which will also put extra strain on our system allowing us to fully test this area. So once again the performance crown goes to CMU 1.11.4. In my final test I'm going to see exactly how much RAM CMU is using between 1.11.4 and 1.11.3. So for this test the most important number we want to keep our eye on is this committed memory right here. I'm going to make sure that no other apps are open and I am going to launch CMU and start compiling my shader cache. For both of these scenarios I am using the game profile edit accurate shader mall equals min, a profile edit that can not only reduce the amount of RAM your system uses when compiling shader caches but also can give you a small boost to FPS when in game. So as we can see, in 1.11.3 after we have compiled our shader cache fully, we are using about 11.4GB of RAM fully committed to our system. Let's switch over to 1.11.4 and see exactly how much RAM we are using when compiling our shader cache with that version. So once again we want to keep our eye on the committed memory and we want to actually launch and start compiling our shader cache. Once again I'm going to speed up this footage of shader compilation. And there we go. As you can see, once the game is fully loaded into RAM and our shader cache has been fully compiled, we are using just about under 1GB less of RAM. 
This RAM reduction falls in line with the 10 to 15% reduction that we were promised when CMU 1.11.4 was announced. So there we go guys, a fairly comprehensive guide showing you that CMU 1.11.4 does in fact give us better performance in comparison to 1.11.3. I would personally attribute most of these performance differences to the differences in RAM consumption. Any users that have the same amount of RAM as I have in my system, so 16GB, can expect basically the same performance increase, however, people with a lesser amount like 8 or 12GB could actually potentially see a much greater increase in performance from version to version. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found this one in some way insightful or useful. Remember to like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.